A man's life is in danger, David. Listen carefully. The London transmission is still jammed, but I was able to decipher part of your orders. Go on. A senior agent named I.W. Vorchuk has just left his room. He might already be in the hotel lobby. He has been betrayed. The Gestapo is watching. <gasps> It's too late to save him now. They're here already. You're not to save him. You're to prevent him from taking his own life. And let the Gestapo take him alive? Yes. But do you know what they'll do to him before they allow him to die? There's got to be some mistake. There is no mistake, David. Obviously. He is a Soviet spy. He killed two of my men. Stop with Chief Friedak. We'll see that they're amply revenged. Take him to the circus for questioning. Well, I hope London is satisfied. I've just delivered a, an ally into Friedak's circus. A Russian submarine is waiting off Streisand on the Baltic coast to take Vortrek aboard. He was trying to get information about the new heavy water project the Nazis are planning. Oh, it's something to do with an atomic explosion, isn't it? You must learn everything Vortrek knows. You're the only Allied agent who can penetrate Gestapo headquarters, David. And what makes Traven think that Vortrek will confide in me, even if I do succeed in getting a private interview? You have permission to identify yourself to him as blue light. Is that important? Long before Hitler turned the world to flames, American correspondent David March fled to Germany, posing as a traitor to his own country. Accepted by the Nazi high command, March worked as a double agent to destroy the Third Reich from within, under the code name Blue Light. <laughs> What is your business with me? I came here to explain my side of the uh, incident this afternoon at the hotel. Captain Hagner says you interfered? I saved a Russian agent from Hagner's bullet and from his own suicide pill. On the theory that a dead spy is very difficult to interrogate. You meddling amateurs. You make trouble for everyone. Vorchek is a highly trained professional. He is behaving accordingly. Are you Are working on him already? Yes, and we will continue. And he will keep silent until his control has had a chance to abort his mission. Then he will happily tell us everything he knows. All of it useless. And we will have exhausted ourselves for nothing. Well, then he must be made to talk before his information becomes useless. Perhaps if I had a crack at him, Colonel, I may be able to persuade him to come over to, uh, to our side. After all, I did save his life. I doubt if he is thanking you for that. I can be very persuasive when I'm convinced my cause is right. I'll, uh, I'll start by dismantling the microphone you've placed in his cell. That is, of course, if you don't mind. You turn coats. 
Or of those kind of fanatics? Out of necessity, Colonel. If the Fuhrer is defeated, I'll be gallows meat. Indeed you will. Very anxious to keep him alive? No. No, not at all. Once he's confided in me, I hope you will promptly execute him. Hand this to the officer in charge at the fort level. You can use my private elevator. the friendly persuader. Do not bother to offer me a cigarette, Nazi. I do not smoke. And you will get nothing out of me but my name. Ilya W. Vorchek. W is a family initial. Adopted by your grandfather, who was a serf on the Kuropatkin estate. Tsarist minister for war at the turn of the century. He was hanged for stealing a neighbor's pig. You're thinking the Gestapo couldn't possibly get that kind of detail on you so quickly, and you're right. Allied intelligence fed me that information at my request less than an hour ago. It's meant to convince you very quickly that we're on the same side. Who are you? Blue light. Blue light. David March to the Nazis. Turncoat American Report. What is that for? For saving me for the butchers. I was ordered to. Orchek, you have information concerning the heavy water project of the Nazis. It cannot die with you. By the time we heard your cover was broken, it was too late to help you. Yet you can walk right... Walk right into Gestapo headquarters. I am the only Allied agent who can. And we haven't got much time. What do you know? All right, if you want more proof, I'll recite your escape route. Woodcutter shack. A freighter at Streisand Dock. Submarine offshore. No, 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 no. I... I believe you. Well, then talk. A Nazi agent has murdered a Swiss scientist and stolen the only existing designs for a heavy water plant. And the agent is personally delivering the documents to Berlin. When? Tonight. Under heavy guard. From where? From where? <laughs> that I will tell you when you get me out of here. <laughs> a man clever enough to penetrate Gestapo headquarters should surely be able to free an ally. We could both be killed and those designs would get through. You will pull it off somehow, Mr. March. Besides, you will need me to intercept that agent. As much as I will need you. There's too much at stake, Vorchek. Much too risky. You heard my terms. All right. But it'll depend upon perfect timing and whether or not you have the guts to do exactly as I say. I'm afraid I overestimated my powers of persuasion, Colonel Friedank. The man's an iceberg. I'm sorry I intruded. I'll be leaving quietly by the basement. Oh, by the way, the... Uh, Elevated door on the fourth level was slightly ajar on my way up. The safety mechanism was broken, I imagine, but I have it fixed. 
Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. Good night, Colonel. Colonel wants you to return Vorchek to the interrogation room. Something just at the top of the elevator, sounded like a body. Friedang's personal courier. I am dropping Mr. March at staff headquarters. Do you have written orders? Phone the colonel if you're doubtful. the courier. That's how. On board the Geneva Berlin Express.
up the hook holes. This time everything depends on your timing and your guts. If we pull this off, how do you propose we get to Streisand? Everything is arranged. When I get into position, I'll knock twice. Good luck. You too. and yours are uh, allies. Temporarily. Thanks to Adolf Hitler. Yeah, well, it's a start. Oh, I, I leave that for the politicians to decide. Look, in all fairness, I think we should uh, share those documents, Forzik. Yes, of course we should. Yes. That is the moral thing to do. But you see, my country and yours may not always be on the same side. We must protect ourselves. Forzik, I saved your life. I got you out of that place. Yes. You are talking as one man to another. But you see, I speak of greater things. Of tomorrow. Of Russia that is now in ashes. But must rise and be the greatest nation in Europe. Yeah, well said, well said, comrade. Remember, I write propaganda. Turn around. Thanks. I'd rather watch. Oh, no, I don't intend to shoot you in the back. I'm just returning the favor you did me. I'm sparing you for the Gestapo. Aren't you afraid that I'll tell the Gestapo to look for a beat-up truck heading for some seaport in the Baltic? No. Because you would rather these documents go to your temporary friends than to your certain enemies. Huh. Move. You will walk. I'll ride. You better get going. This blunder ourselves. Meanwhile, if anyone inquires, Vorchek committed suicide, understand? For Vorchek, the best chance of escape is by sea. The Baltic coast. Streisand. Small, isolated. I'm sure of it.
it earlier. Move on. Yeah, but I, I am lost. Can, can you please direct me to this address here? <laughs> Congratulate me. I'm just frustrated. A Soviet plot. I meant to let you in on it, but I couldn't. He led me out of the Gestapo headquarters at gunpoint. You engineered his escape. He overheard me mentioning the broken elevator door to the colonel, and he caught me getting into my car. And I suppose he forced you to help him steal those documents. He dumped me at Dessau. I followed him to the train, but it pulled out without me. I caught up to him here. Is that his car, Captain? This gentleman risked his life to stop that man. Or was it just an act, Mr. March? A cover-up? After all, Fortek did escape. If I was wrong, Colonel, then you must arrest me. Perhaps I should have resisted Vorchek from the very beginning. Then, of course, I'd be dead, and Vorchek would have escaped anyway, with whatever was in that briefcase. As it is now, the Soviets can never put to use those papers. And neither can our Fuhrer. Well, you don't mean they can't be replaced. Well, why weren't copies made? March, we have decided that Vorchek committed suicide back in his cell. Agreed? Come in. <laughs> Agreed, Colonel. Has ever happened. Perhaps that is best for all of us. Mm -hmm. 